Hey, what's up, guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sartuche. And we got our first veteran Marine on here. This is the first time he's ever been on one of these floats. So we are definitely going to be putting him out there. We're going to start off slow. Then we got uh, some other Marines on the jet skis right there on security. Just in case he falls off, they can get to him quick. So definitely, definitely roll it, rolling deep over here, guys. We're about to have some fun. Let's check this out. Gotta fight, gotta fight. Yeah, yeah. I think I gotta fight. got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a caller, the whole team.
Uh, right, right. He should have jumped in the water. I'll save you! <laughs> Hurry, get him, and you know he can't swim. <laughs> Dude, he looked awesome with both y'all like that when he was on there. It was, it was like, man, we got perimeter control. <laughs> This is definitely one thing, guys. I love hanging around with vets, guys, because it's just, it's always, you know, somebody willing to lend a helping hand and you don't have to sit there and like ask or anything, you know, they see one of us doing something, hey man, how can we help you? And you know, in the military though, it was one thing to volunteer, you know, we all volunteered, we all signed up, but now it's like, you know, it's just in our instinct to want to help each other out and stuff like that. So, you know, a few of these guys haven't been on jet skis. So when I found that out, I said, well, I'm definitely taking ours. So. We took ours over there and got some of the guys on them and, you know, been taking turns and, you know, just giving everybody an opportunity to try something new and stuff. And so right here, I'm going to go ahead and jump on the jet ski myself. You know, that uh, top was going giving me a hand to hold it there in place while uh, uh, I switched over and now I need to get the vest on and, uh, you know, before we, you know, start having fun and stuff like that. So it, it's awesome, guys. Uh, this is one of the true blessings of being a military vet you know it doesn't matter what branch you are guys you know when we see each other we, we we're on we're on our own little program that you know we understand each other and stuff like that and it's awesome guys it really is so truly blessed to, that they have been doing this get together for better part of five going on six years now this is my second year with them and you know they every every few years a new one or new two guys come in and you know it's slowly growing but you know it, it's it's a family guys it really is you know and you gotta love how how much respect we have for one another and it doesn't matter what rank we are we all signed the dotted line and you know there was an open-ended check so now we're all come together everybody has their little bit of what they can pitch in for us to have some fun you know together you know and it's so awesome guys so we're gonna keep on rocking it hope y'all enjoy the video
All right, guys, so this is his second go around, and now I'm getting on the jet ski. I'm going to be uh, teaching some of the guys some of the more advantages that they can do on the jet ski and stuff like that. And it's, it's definitely cool, you know, these guys, you know, even for me, I'm not very experienced at it, but I'm, I'm enough to where I know, like, say, if I flip the jet ski, what to do, um, you know, safety protocols of being around guys that are uh, in the water and stuff like that. And, you know, I have to teach these guys those knowledge because if they want to be on them, they have to be aware of their situation. And that's part of the breakdown of what we do. We, we instruct each other and teach each other new things because we're all at all different levels of in our life and stuff. And some have experience and some don't. And the beautiful thing about being in the military is we all understand that and we help each other. Now, don't get us wrong, though. We will be <laughs> hard on each other in, in other ways, you know, cracking jokes and, you know, just cracking on you when you mess up or you do something wrong and stuff like that. But, you know, it, it, it's between us, you know, we, we really do have a good time. We don't take it personally. We don't let our feelings get in the way or get hurt. Because we know, you know, we're, we're, we're telling you for the right reasons and stuff like that. And we're improving you. So yeah. a lot of these guys are really, really loving, you know, the outdoors and stuff like that. And, you know, it's, it's awesome for me because I get to be with them and experience a lot of the things they're experiencing. And, you know, and then, too, when we're by ourselves and cooking food and just sharing, you know, stories from back, way back when and... <laughs> finding ways to crack on each other it's it's awesome guys so i really do like i said i love my brothers you know we're all from different families different sides of the world and everything else and we all come together with the same same token and right now i keep trying to get close to my brother right here to, to splash him with the jet, the jet ski water and stuff like that but i also too want to want to make sure that when i do do it it doesn't cause you know a panic or anything like that that you know, he's near the guy in the water and stuff like that. So, yeah, I had to time it just right and catch him. But I did catch him. I don't know if they caught it on video or not, but we're going to keep going through it. So it was a lovely weekend to these guys. One was Army, one was Marine Corps, um, had birthdays, um, and it was awesome. It was pretty, pretty awesome, guys.
All right, guys, so I broke away from the crew over here with the jet skis in the boat, and I'm meeting up with Mondo and his father over here. These are two Army vets as well. Uh, they went out, they wanted to go drop some lines, go do some freshwater fishing. So I figured I'd cross, cut across the lake and meet up with them, so give them uh, some pointers if need be, and, you know, get some lines wet, because our plan was, or is, to go alligator gar fishing later on tonight once the sun goes down that way we can be right up on the edge or whatever and not have to deal with as much boat traffic as there is during the day so i'm making my way slowly to them over there i didn't want to spook any fish that they were on also too with the fish finder that i got on the boat i uh, was checking it out and see how this area was stacked up with fish or whatever information i could get you know water depth and stuff like that so definitely get to check it out <coughs> There's some big fish down there. There's big fish down there. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the fish finder. Have you tried the marshmallow? They're in there. Are y'all drifting or y'all got an anchor out? <laughs> 